Hey, welcome back to Data Warehousing Interview Questions. Um, it's a part one. I'm covering data warehouse architecture. In this quiz, we will talk about the commonly asked questions related to the components of a data warehouse. This section covers ODS, Operational Data Store, Data Staging, and the Presentation Layer. Okay, let's take a look at the list of questions being asked in the industry. Number one, data staging area in data warehouse stores in the following format. XML, denormalized tables, normalized tables and flat files. Um, thinking from a conventional data warehousing standpoint, um, there are I know um, several sessions that I have taken. Uh, if you if you have not watched my earlier videos, um, imagine the architectural diagram which I have shared earlier um, would be a right point of reference, and uh, like um, you know um, how the the data being stored on this area. This is basically what we are talking about here. Now, uh, if you look at that then the data would be kept in a normalized table and in a flat files. Let's click submit. Good. Move on to the next question. The key architectural requirement for the data staging area is not to give access to the business users. So I need to fill the dash, update, read, write, query, all the above. So usually we do not give access to the staging area in the data warehouse to the business users. It's meant for the developers. It's meant for the data warehouse users. Um, so not for the business users. So if we take that into consideration, then I would think that all the above would be the right answer. Correct. That's right. Um, so let's move on to the next one. What is the name of the process? that the data warehouse users want to separate and combine the data in the warehouse in endless combination. Um, if you look at number one, all the above, meaning all the item here, so the answers get swapped here. Um, the data researching, dividing and splitting, slicing and dicing. It is which we are talking about the nomenclature here, what terminology is being used for this uh, the business definition of the um, you know uh, data warehousing query for the endless combinations the slicing and dicing is the right option click on it yeah it's a correct answer let's move on to the next one in which area in data warehouse data cleansing and data standardization is performed so I would imagine take a look at the diagram so the data coming from multiple sources right uh, it could be in any format and the the consistency and accuracy of the data is not validated in any form because I go to ecom I can give my address uh, you know instead of street I could put ST in, instead of uh, uh, terrace I could put TR something like that right so the data is not standardized as per the USPS or the industry standard so then the data will we will not go make changes on the source system but immediately when we load the data into the staging area that is the location we make the changes to the data so if that's the case then i would do data staging area the right answer click on it good let's move on to the next one <clears throat> which of the following area that the business users normally query data from which we discussed that earlier. So would imagine presentation area, data staging area, operational source system. So the presentation area would be the right answer. Click submit, good. How a presentation layer should be designed in a data warehouse? Uh, option one, denormalize database. Normalize database only. Dimensional without normalized DB dimensional with the normalized DB so what is that the normalization and denormalization dimension or all you know the data warehousing or data modeling 
um, nomenclature. So if you look at this, the presentation layer uh, in my the block in the in the diagram, this is the presentation layer, right? So this is basically. Um, you know, if you look at this data mart, uh, you know, you see it's like a star schema, right? So if you take that into uh, consideration, so I would, they are all dimensional table uh, without normalized database. So I would, uh, um, I mean, if, if you have not gone through the definition of normalization, I better recommend you to do it to a short video. Otherwise, in my upcoming uh, session, I could uh, talk about the normalization concept, okay? So the answer here is dimensional without normalized DB. DB stands for database, okay? Click on submit. Good, the correct answer. Let's move on to the next one. What is the name of a process in data warehouse that selects data from a source and moves into a target? So if you look at the diagram, going back to the diagram, data from the source moving into the target. So if you look at this, uh, this is my uh, source. Anything that I move from the source uh, to a next adjacent area, which is, let's say, a staging area, that is considered to be my target. And if you look at that, um, if you have gone through my earlier video um, about ETL, stands for extraction, transformation, and loading. So the selection process is nothing but the selecting data here is nothing but data extraction. It's not data loading, it's not data cleansing, it is not the data transformation, it's extraction. So click on submit. Good. So let's move on to the next one. Name of the process which is merging multiple sources of data and converting into a single version of data store. <coughs> Option one, data extraction, data integration, data transformation and data loading. So take an example. Um, so what do we name here is the integration, right? So what does that mean? The data from sales, e-commerce, POS and marketing is coming into an integration area. So it is a, a data integration. So selected option, want that, good. Um, next one. Data in presentation layer of the data warehouse must be atomic and granular, a yeah, star schema, all the above, aggregated if possible. Uh, what does that mean, um, atomic and granular? Uh, for an example, let's say, I'm going back to the diagram because that is the key. If you had um, watched my earlier video about the data warehouse, you should be able to answer these questions. Um, so the data marts on this side, um, you have, you know, this is like a star schema. Uh, the, the star schema, you could keep it uh, as a summary form of data, like uh, on a specific department, how the revenue is, or within a department for a specific product, how the sales are, or within a department for a specific uh, uh, product, and for that specific product, that specific type, how the revenue is. So if you want to see that level, that's basically, that's all a summary level. So this is basically a summary aggregated, right? But if you look at the report generation, the report generations are all like a more like a summary and also the aggregated data, like a daily sales report um, in details, the monthly sales report, so these are all the detailed information. So, so it suffice that uh, um, it, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a correct if you choose the atomic and granular. If I choose a star schema, that would also be right. Aggregated, that's also right. So I better choose all the above. So all the above C seems to be an incorrect answer, uh, but uh, I will come back why it is, but uh, it may be an issue on that uh, video, uh, the, the quiz which I'm selecting. So let's move on to the next one. Um, as a common practice and ODS, he used to deliver the following. As a common practice and ODS is to deliver the following. To support real-time transactions, to store granular data, to deliver operational reporting. I think it satisfies all the answers. So I would choose all the above. Good, that's a correct answer. <clears throat> 
Um, the next question, uh, Dash is a business oriented, time variant, integrated and a mass collection of data is designed to support DSS which is a decision support system function and company management decision. So it's a straight away it is answer B which is data warehouse. Submit, boom. Let's move on to the next one. Number of unique values for a given column in a relational table is called Cartesian product, cardinality, attributes and tuples. Tuples are nothing but the number of records. So that's called tuple. So what does that mean is let me just do a uh, you know, uh, highlighter here. So this is let's say number of entries in the table that's called tuples. Each one called tuple. Right? Tuples, number of uh, records. Attribute, it's basically a column that's called attribute. Cartesian product, it's your joining another table with another table. So that's basically if the, if you're not joining it right, like a, a customer name to a customer name, another table, customer ID to another another table, and that if it uh, if it yields non-unique or multiple records, that's basically what Cartesian product is. But cardinality is what the answer is more accurate to our scenario. So I will choose cardinality, choose the option submit. Okay, that's a correct answer. Let me erase it. Um, yeah. Uh, continue to the next one. Queries that are created by the business user on the spur of the moment is called optimized query, planned query, database queries ad hoc so if you look at the spur of the moment that 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 is an answer to a question so i will choose ad hoc submit it's a correct answer let's move on to the next one aggregated row in a star schema is nothing but cleanse data pre-calculated summary denormalized source data granular and raw data aggregation is always summary so it's a pre-calculated summary data click on it continue to the next one what is the name of an index particularly helpful for high cardinality columns what is the name of the what's the name of an index particularly helpful for high cardinality it's a number of uh, unique records the high cardinality it's basically what it is uh, uh, more like um, you know uh, bitmap bitmap is not meant for a high cardinality function based index it's uh, it is like uh, you know if you want to choose create for a specific column if you want to write a, a function for that column so you create that index on that a specific column through a function that's a function based index reverse index is basically the name it says it's reversely being stored in the nodes I would say the B3 index is the right option. So let's move on to the next one. What's the name of a programming language that is supported by DBMS, database management system, and used to access a database? Data manipulation language, it's used to access the database. Data definition language, we call DDL, that stands to, stands. I mean, that's to, that's used to create tables, create index and stuff like that, so that's not the right one. A PL SQL is a programming language in PL, in SQL plus or SQL, um, it can be written in SQL plus tool. And the fourth one is a transactional control language like commit or rollback. If you know about Oracle, these are more related to that. So I would choose option number one, which is data manipulation language. Good. So let's move on to the next one. What is the system that is used to support uh, managed real decision? Managed real decision. So data warehouse is meant for managed real decisions only. Right? So we call it as a data warehouse. It is meant to load data, but the system to support managed real decision is the decision support system. So we call it the DSS or decision support system. Let's choose that answer. Um, and click on submit. Sometimes you may get confused with data warehouse and the decision support system because remember uh, that uh, business users are not allowed to touch ODS. Um, so uh, the entire data warehouse is not to support the manager decision. It is a it is a co-supporting. It's a supplementing the decision process, but ultimately the DSS system is the one support the manager decision. Uh, correct answer. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, what is data volatility? 
um data volatility is option says option 1 says the protection of the data the rate of change of content of a data stability of the data cardinality of the data volatility in uh, if you look at uh, just that specific word the meaning is that the change over the period of time the uh, the rate of change so that would be the right answer Let's choose that tick submit good um how do you name a data warehouse when more than one enterprise data warehouse is built that's by default that's called a distributed data warehouse good that's a correct answer it's more to the next one what is drill down analysis analyze summary data option 1 analyze data from details summary that is drill up Anal- analyze data from summary to detail that is a drill down analysis click on submit good the right answer on the next one what is the acronym of erd erd is option 1 says entity relationship distribution the enterprise relationship diagram the entity relationship diagram i think you should just need to uh, memorize this nomenclature erd er diagram so it is an entity relationship diagram so it's used for the modeling uh, using er tools like er studio and backend or and uh, uh, erwin tool so these are all the tools used to do the modeling even now you could use visio also to perform the modeling too uh, at a very at a at a very high level but not at the detail level like a er studio or erwin good that's right answer to move on to the next one data that originates from other than operational system of a corporation is called complex data even discrete data third option alien data that sounds funny to me and fourth one external data so other than operational system of a corporation so i would say it's an external data is coming from outside of the operational system so that is an external data and coming back to the next question level of detail contained in a unit of data is called granularity remember we talked about that right so definitely not cardinality not compression of finest data it's a granularity it's a industrial term or a bit, i mean that is a nomenclature used in the data warehouse the good question and i move on to the next one uh, what is the name of the processing where data can be drilled down to the lowest level of detail what is the name of the processing where data can be drilled down to the lowest level of detail um option 1 multi dimensional processing sounds like a right answer but let's move on to the remote processing there is no such processing unless and until in when in comes to data warehouse uh detail processing like um that i don't remember that is a terminology used in data warehouse i don't think so fourth one is a parallel processing uh, that's ai yeah, that is a term but it's not for this one so drill down is mainly for the multi dimensional processing uh, let's move on click submit let's see my score i hope you enjoy this video i will see you in part 2 of data warehouse architecture um if you like this video please like it and subscribe to the channel thank you so much